streaking in. This is from our high altitude cam. Marathon runner savoring that last lap here as we approach the finish, that landing in the Utah Test and Training Range. Wonderful to see that. We continue to track. This is with our high altitude camera still, that WB57. And we should have a great view from here on the ground. We've got a variety of different tracking assets. And you saw Sophia, the team on the WB57 doing EDL, a great miles, job. Only a touchdown. I repeat, EDL. FRC has touchdown. And touchdown of the Osiris Rex sample return capsule. A journey of a billion miles to asteroid Bennu and back has come to an end. Marking America's first sample return mission of its kind and opening a time capsule to our ancient solar system. SRC containing pieces of the asteroid Bennu. You see the reaction there just moments ago as they got that sample back on the ground. This is the team at Lockheed celebrating that momentous achievement of getting that sample from the other side of the solar system at asteroid Bennu. When we took that sample, we were over 200 million miles away from us here on Earth. Wiley? He'll be doing an environmental sweeper, getting a nice close-up view. You can see the parachute disconnected. You can see some of the wiring of it. There, just a little bit off the edge of our SRC. Get this sample return capsule to the clean room. A couple more lifts here, you see. And they're going to remove that last layer of thermal blanketing, placing the SRC on its own without any layering onto our carrying fixture. You can see just how charred up those gloves. going to move this a little bit over to the center of the room so that they can all gather around and begin the process of removing that back shell and then ultimately getting the heat shield off as well.